Hey guys, I am 35 weeks pregnant today, which means I only have five weeks left. Look at that, five weeks, that's one hand. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so close. So at this point, he is hopefully head down, and I kind of feel like he's either close to head down or definitely head down because there's been so much pressure on my bladder this week. I feel like I have to pee all the time, even though I have just gone to the bathroom. I will literally go to the bathroom, pee, walk out and stop and go, yep, I have to pee again and go back to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's what makes me think that he's head down, hopefully. Another thing that's putting more pressure on my bladder is that he's going through crazy brain development this week. So his brain is getting bigger and heavier, which is good because we want him to be smart and happy and healthy. But that also means that his head is getting heavier and his head is sitting on my bladder. So my poor bladder is just getting squished. This week has been a little rough. Right now, I'm actually feeling fantastic. I'm sure you guys can tell by my mood. I feel really good right now, but Monday was terrible. Oh my gosh. If you guys watch the vlog, you can see in my face just like how much pain I had, how tired I was, how much I did not feel good. I had a lot of lower abdominal cramping, which I think was the round ligament pain. And he was moving around so much and kicking really, really hard in my side and up in my ribs. And it, it was just constant all day long. From the moment I woke up, all the way to the end of the day. There was like no break in being kicked. Since I had no break from all that kicking all day long, I was so sore. My ribs were hurting, my back was hurting, and then it hurt my ribs even more when I was sitting down. Plus I was at work during all of this, so that just made it worse. So I'm sitting down all day at work, but sitting really hurts my ribs. And so I was trying to stand up to give my ribs some relief and also to give Jacob some more room to kind of wiggle around. But then when I stood up, my feet would swell up really bad. And so I had to go kind of go up and down all day long. I was leaning back in my chair to kind of do, I don't know, give myself some room with my ribs, but not be on my feet. It was just, it was bad. It was a bad day. <laughs> and so when Mike picked me up from work, I got in the car and immediately started bawling. And I'm pretty sure that my face turned red because I could feel the heat in my face. I just started crying my eyes out. It was just not a good day, but thankfully my week got better. So on Tuesday, I felt a lot better after a good night's rest after my painful Monday, but I did have a lot of heavy movement again in the afternoon, but thankfully it was more towards the end of my work day and then when I was at home, so I was able to get a little bit more comfortable. So I wasn't in as much pain, thankfully. On Wednesday, I was having a little bit of pain with my sciatic nerve on my left side. Everything seems to happen to my left side. So my left leg, I had a lot of sciatic pain in my butt cheek and my upper thigh, and I was kind of dealing with that at work all day. And then I had a lot of heavy movement going on again throughout the day, and he kept kicking my rib, <laughs> which never feels good. I was also feeling really heavy. Like, it kind of felt like he was just in the lower half of my belly. So that's another reason that I'm thinking that he's head down because I was just feeling really, really heavy. And then I also had the strangest thing happen to me. He kicked me really hard and right after he kicked for just a second, I had that weird cold icy feeling. You know that feeling when you're really scared and your heart kind of sinks into your stomach and you just get that cold icy feeling? That's kind of the feeling that I had after this really big kick and it just happened for a second and then it went away. I was like, whoa, that was weird. So I don't know what that was about, but let me know if you've ever felt that feeling before because that was kind of unexpected and really strange. On Thursday, mostly I was just dealing with pain in my feet. My feet have continued to be super swollen and they hurt at work because I wear flats to work, but I have decided as of this week that since I have only one week left of work, I'm ditching my flats and I'm gonna wear tennis shoes whether my boss likes it or not because my feet hurt. <laughs> so my feet were killing me on Thursday and for some strange reason, my palms were sweaty. It wasn't hot at work. We have AC going and it's nice and cool in the building, but my palms were sweaty or sticky all day long and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna say it's one of those weird pregnancy symptoms. On Friday, I noticed that when I'm walking around barefoot on our hardwood floors at home, my feet kind of feel like they're full of pins and needles. So I've been trying to not walk around barefoot <laughs> as much 
It doesn't feel good to wear shoes either because my feet are so swollen. So I've started walking around in slippers, which are also still tight. That's how swollen my feet are. My slippers are tight on my feet. It's ridiculous. Yesterday I had baby shower number two and it was so much fun. Mike's mom threw it for me and she did a wonderful job putting together all the games and the food and all the guests had fun and it was just awesome. I got some amazing gifts and some really funny ones. So make sure you guys check out the vlog tomorrow because we had a really great time. And thanks to Ronnie for filming for me because I can't open presents and film at the same time. So I handed her the camera and said help and she filmed for me. So thank you, Ronnie. That's all I have for the update for this week, you guys. And I wanted to let you know, since I'm at 35 weeks now, I will be considered full term at 37 weeks. So that means little Jacob could be here anytime. I don't know how many more of these updates I'll be doing because for all I know, he could be here next weekend. I have no idea. So just so you guys know, if for some reason by Sunday evening an update hasn't popped up, it's either because I really don't feel good or maybe I'm in the hospital giving birth. I don't know. <laughs> I'll remind you guys again in next week's update video as well, assuming I get to post a video. But I also plan on continuing my updates even after he's born because I wanna do postpartum updates of how I'm doing, how my belly looks, how everything's getting put back together, and how the baby's development is going. So that'll be fun for you guys and for me to look back on and see how quickly he grows because I know just in that first month they change so much. I'm so excited to meet him. I can't wait for you guys to meet him and I will see you guys next week. Bye.